This episode of BFC TV is brought to you by Polaroid. Welcome to BFC TV. My name is Ben, and in this episode, we're gonna walk through all the different types of Polaroid film, helping you decide which film is right for your camera and what the benefits of each type are. Let's do it. At BFC, we are Polaroid experts, and we often see users facing a little bit of confusion of what all the different types of Polaroid film are. There are five different base varieties of film, each with variations like frame color, black and white options, so let's break these down and determine which is compatible with your camera and what the difference is between them. We'll start with Polaroid I-Type film, which holds eight shots per pack. This film was introduced by Polaroid's modern predecessor, The Impossible Project, to work with newer cameras that are powered via USB. These are cameras like the Polaroid Now, One Step Plus, the i1, and the Polaroid Lab. Vintage Polaroid cameras are actually powered by the film packs inside, which contain a battery. I-Type film doesn't need a battery because the cameras are USB rechargeable, making this film a few bucks cheaper. I-Type film will not work in vintage cameras, so only grab this film if you're using a newly produced Polaroid camera. I-Type film comes in a variety of frame colors and special editions. Besides the black and white film, these varieties aren't actually different in terms of the film itself, with the colorful frame simply offering aesthetic variety for the borders. Now let's shuffle on over to 600 film. Chemically speaking, this is the exact same film as I-Type. These films are 640 ASA, meaning they work well in all ranges of light. They come in the black and white emulsion as well. The difference between 600 and I-Type is that 600 film has the battery built into the cartridge, which is necessary for use with vintage cameras. If you've got an old box type Polaroid like the Super Color or the Cool Cam, this is the film for you. If you're in a pinch, you can also use 600 in I-Type cameras. The battery will simply be bypassed by the camera's internal battery. You may want to buy 600 film even with an I-Type camera for its unique special edition emulsions and frame types like Polaroid round frame. Polaroid has released limited films such as duochrome yellow, blue, and green that are only available for the 600 film type. These are chemical remixes producing wild results that aren't available with any other film out there. 600 remains a core choice that everybody can get behind. This brings us to SX70 film, which is distinctly different than 600 and I-Type film. This film was created especially for the Polaroid SX70, the company's touchstone invention, and a camera that remains the finest they've ever produced. When this camera was invented, the native film speed was closer to 100 ASA. Modern SX70 film is 160 ASA, meaning it is less sensitive to light than 600 film, has finer grain, punchier colors, higher contrast, and makes it a very different option from 600 or I-Type. On a sunny summer day, nothing hits quite like SX70 film. However, because of the way Polaroid cameras have been calibrated to their respective film types, this film will only work properly in cameras like the Polaroid SX70 or early box type cameras like the SX70 One Step and the Button. If you insert this film into a 600 camera, the photos will be wildly overexposed and no one wants that, so only use it for SX70 cameras. It also comes in black and white with similarly distinct properties than the black and white film available for I-Type or 600. So we've discussed the three Polaroid film types that are more or less the traditional Polaroid shape. Now let's shrink things down to their newest format, Polaroid Go Film. This film is, for lack of a better term, teeny tiny. It is chemically similar to 600 and I-Type in that it's 640 ASA, but in a much smaller package, only intended for use with the unthinkably adorable Polaroid Go cameras, which fit into the palm of your hand. Unlike other film types, which come standard in eight shot single packs, the Go is packaged in double packs. So you get 16 total frames in each box. At $20 per double pack, these are essentially half the price as a normal $20 pack of Polaroid, Though, of course, the film itself is less than half the size. Now that we've discussed the smallest format available, let's talk about their largest format, Polaroid 8x10. This specialty film is meant for use in large format cameras, shooting massive sheets of Polaroid that need to be run through a separate processor, which essentially acts as giant rollers, first the comparatively diminutive rollers inside Polaroid cameras. The chemistry inside is the same as 600 and I-Type, a 640 ASA behemoth that brings Polaroid magic to big bellowed beasts. Polaroid 8x10 is a special handmade film that 
only exists because the Impossible Project rescued an assembly machine for Polaroid of yesteryear and retrofitted it to work with integral style film, which is the current Polaroid film structure. Old Polaroid 8x10 actually peeled apart, whereas the new stuff works like all other modern Polaroid film, developing in a sandwich sheet of chemistry, plastic, goo, and love. Polaroid 8x10 comes in packs of 10 negatives and positives, priced at a much higher $190 a box, which may seem obscene, but this is actually a steal when you compare it to 8x10 color sheet film like Kodak Portra 400, which is $250 for 10 sheets. And those are just sheets of film. Polaroid's got the positives and negatives in there with the chemical pouches built in. And like I said, they're made by hand. Really unique stuff. Well, that about sums it up for all the modern variations of Polaroid film. If you've got any further questions about which is right for you, or you're confused about whether your camera goes with which film type, just drop a comment. We'll be down there waiting to help you out. Stay tuned to BFC TV for more helpful tips, info, and everything analog. Bye.